Legal maneuvering is already underway as former President Donald Trump and 18 others push back against election related charges in Georgia. Uh, former Trump chief of staff Mark Meadows, he's trying to get the case moved to federal court. Now, the former president and his co-defendants have until next Friday, August 25th, to voluntarily surrender and face the charges. Prosecutors accuse Mr. Trump of heading up a criminal enterprise to overturn 2020 election results. Our Samantha Cortese is here in studio with where the case stands tonight. Sam. Micah and MB, tonight the clock is ticking until the former president must go to Georgia and turn himself in or else be arrested. That deadline is next Friday, but before that, he says he's going to present his evidence in the court of public opinion. Responding to the fourth criminal case brought against him, former president and current candidate Donald Trump says he has irrefutable evidence the 2020 election was rigged. And he's going to prove it, he says, Monday morning from his golf course in New Jersey, posting videos like this in response to the grand jury indictment against him. The test of a man is how much he will bear for a cause which he knows to be right. How long will he stand? Trump and 18 of his allies are charged with crimes ranging from racketeering to conspiracy by soliciting fake electors to cast illegitimate votes, harassing election workers and tampering with electronic voting systems, all according to the indictment. Trump's former lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, denied the allegations in a 90 minute video, calling Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis the real criminal. This, Fannie, is your worst sin. You destroy the legal profession. Uh, you install the prosecutor as the dictate. Also indicted, former Chapman University Law School Dean John Eastman and former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Tuesday, Mark Meadows filed to have that case moved to federal court, a legal maneuver that would halt state court proceedings and potentially delay the case. D.A. Willis also wants to start the trial within six months. Trump's legal team and even his GOP presidential competition say this is a political move to interfere with his 2024 presidential campaign. But Georgia's Republican governor, Brian Kemp, responded directly to former President Trump on social media, vehemently denying a stolen election in Georgia, saying, quote, for nearly three years now, anyone with evidence of fraud has failed to come forward under oath and prove anything in a court of law. Still, the discussion over politics and prosecutions continues. Within the workings of a prosecution office, they are not thinking red and blue. Of course, they are very, very interested in a case about a matter such as the election and whether it was properly conducted, and most especially whether there were efforts in effect to subvert the electoral process. But partisanship, it just isn't there. The Fulton County District Attorney says the former president violated RICO law. You often hear about that when prosecu prosecuting members of an organized crime, mafia perhaps. A conviction carries up to a 20-year prison sentence But MB and Micah. As we've learned the last few hours, the president claims to have his evidence, which we will hear next Monday, next Friday. All right, back to you guys. All right, Sam, thank you so much.